And here he is, the star of our show, direct from the bar. Hi folks, Dennis here. <clears throat> I do like that music, that hilly billy music. I'm sat in my chair and I'm jigging away with it. I love that kind of music. Well, welcome everybody. Um, I can see there's a few people watching. If you'd like to make a comment in the comments, and uh, then I can know that you, you are watching. So Facebook is telling me there's a few people watching, a few hundred. Well, what a good show we had last night with Colin Boswell. And Lynn Sutumner, what a cracking show. I've had phone calls from Australia. A friend of mine showed it to a couple of teachers in Australia. And they said, yes, this guy is right. He's right what he's saying about Australians, about being rounded up and the indigenous people being injected. Uh, but we're not going to go on that, on that format tonight. Not at all. Um... As always, I have no idea what's going to happen. No idea. A good, good, uh, good day to you, Susan, Carla, and of course me. So, as always, we are then set up with. I'm just going to turn the sound down because when people send me a comment, it goes ping. So tonight's show, as always, there's an address. Well, I'm not saying an address, but there's a quick talk from the council. Quick. If they get the if they get their way, it's never quick, is it? It's always always a fair bit of time, which is quite good because we have to give ourselves the time to listen and to heal and to sort the rubbish out from what is happening now in the world. Because I was sat here before after I said my prayer, my meditation to upstairs. So what's it going to be tonight? And he said, it's about healing. It's about healing where you are. It's going through the many levels of you. Everybody on this earth at the moment resembles an onion. That onion, Dennis, is multi-layered. And if you get rid of one layer, you work on it, that could be a negative layer. You get rid of that negative layer, you find there's another layer underneath. So you're working on that layer as well. So we're all layered. And when we get rid of one layer, it gives us the freedom to look at another layer. The freedom to express, should I take that layer on? Should I unwrap that layer? Am I okay with that layer? Is it giving me hassle? Do I need to work through it? Is that layer a past vibration from the past that I brought into this life to work on. So this is all going through you subconsciously, all of you. Even our partner we speak through now, he's going through many layers as well. You are no different, beloveds. For the ones who realise they are working on themselves, they are the fortunate ones. For it's like being in the dark when you don't know, you don't know. Now that's a phenomenal statement, but when you don't know, you actually don't know how positive and powerful you can be. What a divine sovereign spirit you are. You don't know or you've lost contact to your roots, your spiritual roots. Where are your spiritual roots, beloveds? Are they in Mother Earth? Are they in the astral planes? Or are they beyond that? I would say that your spiritual roots have always been, but not in the physical form that you are witnessing and expressing at this moment. Not at all. For when you witness and express, when you witness and experience 
the true selfness of yourself. The true selfness, not selfishness, selfness. You understand that you are enough for yourself. If you think you should be working on yourself and you're not sure what to do, we would say, find peace and quiet. For when you find peace and quiet, we said this a few times when you've sat, we've said it a lot of times to those who wish to listen, is that you find the peace that passes all understanding. And when you have that peace that passes all understanding, you realise you can sit on the proverbial park bench in the middle of Third World War and you won't be affected. For it's like the onion. There's many dimensions to your life, to your spiritual progress, to the spiritual dimensions. People talk about the third dimension, the fourth and the fifth and the sixth and onwards. But how do you know that you're not in the fifth and the sixth now? We ask you that question. Maybe you could type a reply if you wish. We'd like to see your answers, to see where you're coming from. And where we see you're coming from, we will address it in our questions and answers. Or maybe we will address it over here. We will send our knowledge to our partner. For he is in contact with us and we're in contact with him, even though you're looking at this guy on a TV screen or on a computer. Part of him is not there and part of our is not with us. We are basically intertwined with each other. So how do you know you've not ascended already? Do you know you've ascended? Well, let us give you a little hint how you know you have ascended or in or in the process of ascending. Ascension. Ascension comes in many forms to many people. It will come at a different time to most people. You will not all go off the planet all at the same time, like a shuttle bus taking all human beings off to a different vibration. That, beloveds, won't happen. Ascension is individual. So you have your individual chance to ascend or not to ascend. However, sooner or later you will ascend even though you don't want to ascend. You understand our words here. You will ascend automatically, even though you don't want to ascend, you will ascend. It might only be in a small portion, but you will ascend. Ascending is understanding your dimension. Understanding your trueness of who you are. Having the knowledge of where you've come from. And within the knowledge of knowing who you are, where you've come from, lies the foundation of where you're going to. There are not other planets upon your Earth system, in your Earth system, in your galaxy that are under attack, like your Mother Earth is now, by those rogue spiritual beings who want to harness you for their own energy, for their own army. This must never happen. For there are other planets around the solar system that incorporate what you may call your Mother Earth, as a learning portal for those souls that wish to step forward onto Mother Earth and to be of service to the higher energies that are not accessible at this moment for what you may call the regular people. When we say the regular people, we don't put anybody down, we just make a difference. For there are people that are ready, able and willing to shift, shift their dimension thinking to a higher form 
of accelerated understanding of oneself. When you have the accelerated understanding of oneself, you realize that nothing will be able to fail your spiritual presence. How can a spiritual person who is in tune with his higher self or her higher self or countless higher selves, how can they fail? Beloved, you can't fail. You've already won the race. You've already completed your earth marathon. And what has happened to most people who are now showing up or have showed up on earth in the past 70 years, 80 years, you are the first wave of what you may call star children, the awakened ones. There has been other waves, but not as prepared not strong enough to stand up to those who wish to crucify you, like our member here, who you may know under the name of Jesus Christ. Now, do you not think that the Christ vibration, do you not think that he could be what you may call an astronaut, coming from what you call your space, your cosmos? It has been labelled many times that he is a space traveller, and we would agree, because he's here, nodding, yes. But because one has to dampen their vibrational mode when they visit this lower energy Earth planet, one cannot accept the full light of these spiritual beings. For if you held the full energy aspect of an ascended master within your gaze or beside you you would be blinded by the light and more than ever you would shrivel up because of the energy there are only aspects of the ascended ones that come and commit communication we allow certain aspects of physical experience to happen to those who are ready able and wanting to express what has happened to themselves to the wider public like our beloved Dennis when his car filled up with white light and the car drove home and the voice of what he describes, the voice of the white light filled the car, it spoke to him. Now, this has happened twice in different variations to him. Nobody that he has spoken to has had the same experience. This is how we manifest. We manifest in different ways at certain times to different people, to different religions, at different frequencies so they can tune in with their own faculty for when you tune in with your own faculty you are tuning into your own wave band and once you tune in you already know where that station is even though life might knock your tuning station out of sync Go twonking, as somebody said today. When you're twonking down the road, you are still in perfect harmony with the universe. You may not think so. Your body was not designed to last forever. Because if you last forever, how would you have what we call, and hopefully you call it now, self-realisation? For when you have self-realization, you realize how great thou art. That's a hymn. That's part of a hymn within your spiritual churches and most probably other churches. How great thou art. So we ask you from our, what you may call, 
our lofty perch in the universe. Actually, it's not lofty. We're here with you. We walk, we talk, we communicate with you, but not from a lofty perch. We do it through thought forms, through talking to your neighbour, by sharing a good idea, to listening to your heart, your intuition. And as you share your heart with other people, your heart becomes so much stronger, beloveds, so much in tune with us on the other side. But actually, there's no other side. It is a higher frequency that you once visited, but now decided to put your cloak on and to go into what you may call your earth suit, your human suit, to have human experiences for the betterment of your soul, your spirit, nobody else's soul, nobody else's spirit, just your experience. Now, we have to address the elephant in the room here. There is much talk regarding the mass depopulation of your planet by certain factors that you may call your governments. Your governments are being persuaded by an outside force that is not beholden to governments, but the governments now are becoming beholden to the outside force. You have to be a force yourself. When you realise, and we said this early on in this transmission, when you realise how powerful thou art, you will be able to understand you can change everything and anything by a thought pattern, by the way you feel, the way you act. Initially, to get to that point, you have to, in a way, dismiss yourself from those that wish to put you down, those that wish to embroil you in negativity, in drama, in backstabbing. When you walk away from what you may call your cosmetic food, your cosmetic living, and you go into the nature and feed upon the mother in the nature, that's why it's called Mother Nature. You walk upon the green, in the green. You walk upon next to the waters. There's different element, different love, different understanding. You are mixing what we you call the divas. The loving beings of nature. You may have seen them on your travels. They have seen you on your travels, for they are always wishing to communicate and are open to your communication. There are many people that wish us to speak of extraterrestrials, a different life force. Let us tell you they do exist, but this channeling, this bringing of source information here and now, is not entirely given away to that ET factor. Yes, there are intelligent beings in the universe, more intelligent than what you may call the beings on Mother Earth. But that mustn't stop you from accelerating your own path of self-growth in this life. For when you become self-growing, you nourish yourself, beloveds. You nourish yourself with the words you choose to speak to yourself, the company you keep, the food, the liquids you drink. You look after your physical being. For if you look after the being, your mind will become clearer. Your heart will be more loving, open and kind. You will know where to go 
or not to go. You know who to speak to or not to speak to. Your intuition takes over. You become at peace with yourself. And this is what it's all about. Tonight is about you finding peace in the chaos that is happening upon your world at this time. We are saddened that we have to say to you that you have allowed it to happen. There is an end picture to this and all will be well. But you can shorten the duration. You can make all being well quicker or longer. What do you want to do? Do you want to suffer for another 20, 30 years? under the dictatorship of those who've not got your best interests at heart, who are wishing to depopulize the planet so they can rape the resources for themselves, they will have a big awakening when they move over. However, the source treats all people and all entities with the same Loving condition. Think about that. The source treats all conditions, all entities with the same loving vibrations that if they knew better, they would have done better. We like that statement. For if you knew better, beloved, you would have done better. So the trick is, how to know better? There is no trick. It is straightforward. It is a practice of being quiet, going within, cutting off the box in the corner of your room, shutting off the outside distractions of those who wish to put you down, finding peace, tranquility in nature. Let the soul and the spirit come together and merge as one once again. For you elected, beloved, to be on this planet for this reason, to become self-soul realized. And when you become self-soul realized, you automatically become God realized. We don't talk about the God for just one God, overshadowing your planet, your cosmos, your universe, for there are multiple gods. Think about that. We will re repeat. There are multiple gods within the system. Each looking after their own territory. Think about that. Do some research. Don't just take our word speaking through our partner. Everything is multifaceted. Everything has a duality. And once you find the duality and see the other side of it and think that's not for you, what is for you? You automatically see the other side and you think that's the side for me, the duality, the gift of free will. The duality planet that you are experiencing now. It's a duality for those people who wish to trap you. It's their gift of free will. If you could say that. But it's also your gift of free will, beloved, to not to be hoodwinked. Not to be led to the gallows. Or to the concentration camps. Or to be locked up because you don't want to receive. Or to be a guinea pig for a scientific trial. You have got the power. All humans have the power. The humans who don't think the, they have the power. They are used to watching what you may call the box in the corner of the room. They are used to watching... Films, television programs that have been programmed to hoodwink them. We would say, think 
for yourself. Come together and make your own programs. Make your own theoretical plays. Be your own actor. Be the Shakespeare, the modern Shakespeare. And be the sin army of love, of understanding and power and self-realisation. Come together. We mentioned over two years ago that you should hopefully come together in groups in the countryside. And for the last probably a year, you've been all coming together in parks, in meetings. However, we ask you now to come together in bigger forces, bigger meetings, and let your feet do the walking. Walk upon those that wish to entrance you in their materialism. You are here on this planet with those who've gone before you and those who will come after you to bring heaven to earth. You are here on earth not to materialize it, but to spiritualize it. For there are other beings who wish to manifest themselves on earth for this experience. Now the ones in the firing line now are the ones who signed the contract many years ago for this perfect play that they are an actor in. So you've all taken the wine, you've all drunk the coolie, you've all signed a contract to be here at this time, right now, going through what you are going through. However, the human body, the human form, the human brain could be subject to those outside forces trying to batter you down, to put you under their spell. Now the quickest way to understand how to break a spell is to go within, seek meditation, ask and you'll be answered. Seek the answer, knock on the door. All this is said in the Bible. But our partner is not Bible read. If you look at the word Bible and understand its true origin, it's basic instruction before leaving earth. The second Bible is written in your heart. Who are you? That's your first question. Ask yourself, where are you from? How did I get here? What is my mission? How can I love myself? Because you've been taught to not love yourself. And we are now saying, you have always loved yourself, but you've given yourself this journey on Mother Earth to test yourself. And we will say now, stop testing yourself, beloveds. You already know how to love. So now you've got to love yourself first and foremost. And when you do that, the whole vibration of Mother Earth will change. Don't seek it from other people. Seek it from yourself. For we are, as always, the Council of Twelve Ascended Grandmasters, speaking with and through our conscious channel, Dennis Barnes, here upon the Earth Plane, who we rightly call the 13th member. We are, over what you may say somewhere else, he is earthbound for this reason, for this connection. We connect beyond time and space. And we hope our words have instilled within you the power, the tranquility, the essence of true love and the understanding that you can change everything and anything on your life, in your world at this time. 
if you firstly realize the power that you hold being a sovereign being, a soul of the universe that cannot die but can only grow through experiences. As he likes to say, one for all and all for one. I do like it when they come in quick, right at the beginning. Um, it's amazing how they just bring this peace and quiet. Um, for those who know me, know that I suffer from a speech impediment. And it's when the council come in, it just disappears. They use words that I wouldn't use during the day. They put sentences together that flow. It just flows. It just, the energy just flows. What do you think, folks? Can you see the difference? Let me know. Put your comments in. And in a few minutes, thank you, Carla. In a few minutes, we're going to go into the healing zone where we will spend maybe five, ten minutes in healing. So if you need healing, I know other people do need healing upon this planet and you may know friends you might need the healing as well yourself send it out to them because what you send out you automatically get back so we give it a few moments and we'll change the scene and we'll go into healing listen to the music and then once the music's finished we'll give it a few seconds change the scene again and go to the questions and answers so get your questions ready and if there's no questions, no comments, no questions that are worth asking, because your, your answer relies on the type of question or the quality of the question you answer, you ask, I mean. So that's it. That's our program for tonight. As always, the same program. Right, folks, going to change scenes now. Okay, fine. Thank you. Well, I need to find the scene. Just give, just give me a second. Oh, got hiccups. Hiccup, 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 hiccup. There we go. The healing zone. Relax, breathe, connect. Go to your source. Listen to the music. Let it drift you. Then healing out to yourself and those loved ones. Just think of them. Because as soon as you think about them, you... we'll be back when it's finished.
that was so refreshing. Oh, I drifted off then, okay. Lucky I come back. Oh. Let me know when you're back. Put a comment in the window, please. Let me know when you're back on this planet. Oh, I was well away then. I was just immersed in the music. That music is by Tim Wheater, a personal friend of mine. Phenomenal. Look him up. Tim Wheater. Brilliant music. Energy. Absolutely magical. You're right, Asher. Hmm. I'm drinking my spirit. That's this nettle tea. Nettle tea. It's like, oh, it's gorgeous. The touch of honey. Nettle tea. Brilliant. Maybe I get some nettles growing up here. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? So, okay. 10 to 10. Cowboy time. Do you know why they call it cowboy time? What time is it you say? It's 10 to 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 10. For those who don't get it, that's a horse, right? It's somebody on a horse going, galloping away. Get it? Okay. I woke up very peaceful after listening to the music just before sleeping. Brilliant. So, Okay, folks, we've got 10 minutes, maybe a bit more. I don't know what's happening. So uh, I go with the flow, obviously. I'm in a really chilled out mood now. Yeah, wow. My, I've been playing the saxophone before I started. I had to calm down and sit on the chair for half an hour to get really down. And I'm glad I do because the proof is when you're in tune is the council come through and give me those words that hopefully enlighten you to go within and find your peace to get out of that dimension of other people you can multi-locate right to bi-locate inside here don't go in their world because if you don't go in their world they can't see you can we go in their world if you think about their world? Think about your world, how peaceful it is. And that's how you become enchanted with yourself and your world. Okay, we'll leave the ETs till another time. Okay, so, okay, here it is. And here he is, the star of our show, direct from the bar. Get rid of him, flipping heck. Right, folks, it's your time for any questions you want to ask. Write them in the comments. I'll flash them up on the screen, like this one here. I know it's not it's not a question, but this is how it works. Use Cara as a guinea pig. Um, okay, fine. So that's how it works. Ask a question, you put it up, and the council will answer. Nope. Cara, Carla, you're going to have to re rephrase that question better because it's a generic question that I could say, I could say, Dennis could say, whatever floats your boat, do it. Whatever your intuition tells you, do it. You've got to ask a different question, format it in a different way. And that's not just to you, Carla, that's to everybody. The quality of a good answer is the depth of your question. Always remember that. If you put a Mickey Mouse question, you get a Mickey Mouse answer. In fact, the council won't even look. They just bypass it. And also, another thing is, if you're so close to finding the answer yourself, the council won't give you the answer. They'll guide you to where you can find the answer yourself. So in time, you don't need an outside source. Your job is to become self-contained self, self, self -contained 
to ask your higher self which knows everything and your higher self is in tune with other higher selves of a higher nature that's what it's all about right okay samantha davis such beautiful music so calming and peaceful definitely what i need after a day in a and e with another unknown allergic reaction and blurred vision will the cancer be able to provide me with what i'm missing at this this is going on since april okay two questions one off samantha and one off sue star what i'm being shown the picture of samantha is you going within within in a form of constructive peace and quiet meditation and there is a doctor on the other side there is a doctor in a white coat waiting to help you but you have to connect with this doctor in the spiritual spheres you have to connect with this doctor this doctor will lead you will give you the inspiration and it might come like that or you might be reading a paper and you might oh well that's me connect with the spiritual doctor within and also what they're telling me is to guide you to some healing groups research in your neck of the woods any healing groups that you can go and feel peaceful with check them out first if it doesn't gel with you don't go for not every healer works on a higher level a higher vibration check the healing check the people that do reiki but they live it they don't just do it to earn money but they are living breathing entities of that healing energy which then will transfer and transmit to you I'm also being told Samantha dandelion tea dandelion tea dandelion tea they're telling me on a, a, a higher level on an etheric level reconstructs the inner ability to heal dandelion tea on an astral level on a higher level beyond the physical form it has an effect and then it comes down into the physical form through what you may call the mental and the physical bodies into the spiritual body from the spiritual body first into the mental into the physical body so it's built up there it's made up there and brought down dandelion tea do some research and meditation to connect with the doctor in the white gown the white jacket coat as i'm calling it and i'm being told his origin is chinese or japanese i couldn't see it at first then his face changed so you're looking at a different form of medicine a different way of looking at the physical being you look at you're looking at the eastern energy which includes reiki okay sue star how can let me know what you think about that samantha go back to sue how can we know if we are due to ascend in this life you have to take it on automatic pilot one doesn't get left behind no no child is left behind no human being is left behind 
You can ascend in this life quicker than an, an, another life by changing the way you think and feel, by what you do in this life, the effort you put in this life. If you meditated for, say, 12 hours a day, every single day for like 50 years, you would ascend. You wouldn't be coming back. You would ascend. There's a quick way, the God realization way, or there's a slow way. It just depends on what you want to do, the gift of free will. How much effort do you put into it? That's what it is, Sue. If you want to ascend in this life or a future life, depends on the energy you bring forward and you locate in this life. Okay, let me know what you think, Sue. Right, Victor Walker. Hi, good evening, Victor. Don't think I've seen you before, but okay. My wife suffers with nasal congestion when she's got a bad cold. She goes deaf. I give her two sessions of Reiki. Usually clears it up, but this is, this is, but this time after five, but this, but not this time after five sessions of Reiki. Okay. You're telling me it's not down to you, Victor. It is down to your wife to see herself, to see herself healed and holy. Whole, not holy as religion, but as a whole person. With your help as well. Anything you can do on the healing side, different plants, different herbs, have a look. It will be a combination of changing the way your wife thinks and feels so it, she's whole, thinking whole, even though she may not be whole at that time. Because when you think it's so powerful, you become what you think. This is why you should never say anything negative after the two words, I am. So, Victor... Maybe your wife should be saying, I am healed in all areas of my life. I am healed in every aspect of my life, physically and spiritually. You have a mantra, I am perfect and powerful in all areas of life. That's my mantra. Sometimes I go to bed thinking it and I wake up during the night and I'm still thinking it in my thought pattern. Wow, what is going on here? Becomes automatic. So when you're an automatic pilot, automatic pilot comes in sometimes and says you're not worthy, you won't be healed. But if you can realize that's just your consciousness, that's the ego tricking you, you change it, you get a baseball back and you knock it out of the park. You can change it. Victor, get your wife to look at that. Tell her what's been said. For there is a reason that you've come on this evening and you've asked the question and that was the reason. As a combined unit, you've been given the tools to move forward now. Do not doubt your Reiki. Do not doubt it, for it is there. Okay, leave that for now. Thank you. Right, uh, Sue, so, thank you, Dennis. As you told me last time, I already know this, but wasn't feeling confident in my own beliefs. Well, you have to feel confident, Sue. Once you are confident, upstairs will give you more. But we save that when you... Um, when you contact them privately. Samantha, thank you. I meditate several times a day and connect with my guides. I'm a Reiki teacher, that's good. However, I do go direct to source and my guides and symbols do not re 
resonate with me anymore. That's because you've gone beyond them. I will look out for the Chinese doctor on the other side and research dandelion tea. I've been guided to research herbalism recently. So you've been guided along the same path that they talk about. Remember, Reiki or any other form of healing is all part of the healing source, direct from source. Doesn't matter what name it comes under. Doesn't matter what you call it. Spiritual healing, absent healing, hands-on healing, Reiki healing. Doesn't matter. All comes from source. And you have, your, you have all of you, your direct connection to source. All of you. You are phenomenal healers. Just start believing in it and trusting it. Don't waver. Don't doubt. Not at all. Okay. Does anybody have an essence twin, another half of their whole? I have no idea. We'll probably discuss that another time, Susan, but um, I don't know about that. Asha, I've been told I've been really ill in bed for two days, been self-healing for months. I was supposed to be in hospital today, but I feel the need to go on the med bed instead of having su having surgery. Prime example of what of what your self healing, your healing will set you one way or the other. You're a prime example of listening to yourself. And if you self heal, even when we go off the planet and we've been working on ourselves healing, that you've been working on your ascension, you've been working on your physical being. Sometimes a physical being is not supposed to last three score years and ten. Sometimes it's supposed to last 40 years or 30 years because that's the contract you've signed. doesn't matter the length you are on the planet or the shortest time you are. It's the experience you are having or had on Mother Earth. It's the connection you reconnected with your higher self, your intuition your source, your divinity. That's what it's all about. Meditation of life. If you, go, if you can go through life in meditation, play any instrument in meditation. That's what I'm trying to do. Now I'm trying to meditate and bring my meditation into when I'm playing the saxophone so I can produce those like, whoa, the beautiful sounds that really... I'm destined to produce. But we're destined to produce the music within ourselves. Oh, I love how the way they just bring things in and connect. It's like they're here all the time. They're just they're changing words. They're giving me words. They're painting pictures. I absolutely love it when they do this. And because I resign myself, I resign myself. Say what you want, I want. Make me an instrument of your love. Without that, without the energy, source energy, I will be nothing. I will be nothing. But with that, I'm everything. And so are you, beloveds. You are everything yourselves. Everything. Just remember it. And on that note, Samantha Davis, you do that with your art. That's good. Cara, look forward to hearing you play one day. Yeah, well, my public performance is tomorrow night. And dance to the rhythm if you're so. My public, the first public performance is tomorrow night. They turn the Christmas lights on the tree here. And um, I overlook the Christmas lights. So when they turn the tree out, when they put the lights on the tree and all the stalls are sat round and the choir comes, I'll be playing Silent Night on the saxophone. And then I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. I'm going to love it. Really love it. On that note, folks, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for allowing me to speak to your soul. Thank you for 
sharing your energy with me. And until next Thursday, yeah, next Thursday again, I so wish you good night, God bless, happy dreams, and hope you connect with your higher self for the benefit of you first and foremost, and the benefit for those that you come into contact during the day. I say good night, God bless, folks, and uh, see you next week. Okay, bye for now. Thank you. And if you like the show, tell people. And if you would like a channeling or a consultation with the Council 12, you couldn't ask for any group better. You couldn't ask for them. They are phenomenal when they connect with you personally. Okay. Bye for now, my friends. Lynn, sorry I missed you. Well, Lynn, you can um, watch the replay. It doesn't. It, it doesn't go off. It just once it loads up after this, you can watch the replay. I suggest you do it because it's awesome. Yep. Yeah. Even I say it myself because you know why. I love myself. Um, I'm going to put it up on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it up on YouTube. Won't be till tomorrow though. And then if you want, you can share the link with people. Definitely. All right, folks, love you and leave you. Merry Christmas. I know we're not there yet, but Merry Christmas. And uh, I'll see you next week. All being well. And remember, if you want to connect, get hold of me. Because the counsellor waiting to help you step into your power. All right, beloveds. I'll say good night, God bless. And um, okay, I'll just finish it now and say good night, God bless. Okay, bye for now. Bye. Yes, I will. Some don't use Facebook. Thanks, Cara. That's what I thought you meant. Yep. Yeah. Um, definitely. Okay, you have to look for Dennis Barnes. I'll send you the link when it's up and then you can send it to other people. All right. Okay. Lynn. Okay, great. Looking forward to it. Brilliant. Okay, good night. God bless. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.